Hello and welcome to another episode on Manners on the Go. I hope your week has been great and I hope you're minding your manners as well. Thank you for coming again today and enjoy! <laughs> today is a little different on Manners on the Go. As you can see, the ambience is different. And this is because today we're coming to eat. <laughs> I'm actually talking over business with my friend Ifi Emeka Onu and she'll be joining me for a business lunch. Perhaps I want to sign a million dollar deal with her. So come with me and let's do this together. So before we begin, <laughs> and just before I invite Ify, my friend, to join me at the table, I'd like to call the in-house chef, Tony, to tell us how to set the table. I mean, it's the Yuletide season, you might be inviting friends over to your house, or you could also be invited to join a luncheon. I'm sure you'd like to know what cutlery is for what, or what glassware is for what, what should you be ordering for, how should you use your fork and knife. Everything will be discussed here today. But like I said, let's even see how to set the table first. So let me invite Chef Tony to come up here and tell us how to set a formal table. See you soon. I would like to show us through on how to set up a former three-course meal table. A three-course meal starts with what we call the appetizer. Appetizers can be a cold starter or hot starter. You, you can decide to go for any of your choice. But according to TBC's uh, request, we will be starting today's meal with pepper soup and dinner roll. So I'll be showing us some wares I have on the table. This is the soup bowl for your pepper soup. And right here, I have the bread and butter plate. And on top of it, I have the butter knife. We have the soup spoon right at the right hand side of the dinner plate. So we move directly to the main course, which is the second dish where we have uh, the dinner plate. On the right hand, we have the dinner knife. The next on the right hand is the fish knife. And on the left hand is the fish fork. And the next on the right hand is the soup spoon. So let me quickly run us through the glasses we have here. The first usually when you are setting up is the water glass. And this is a low bore, this is why we call it a low bore glass. Some people call it a water cooler glass, but it is for water. And here is the burgundy. You can see how it looks. It is for red wine. And here, is the white wine glass. You have to check where actually to be able to differentiate between these glasses. And this long and slim one is the champagne float. And of course for your champagne. That being done, right now the table is set for TBC. Manners on the go. Welcome back. So before we went on a break, um, Chef Tony was here to talk to us about how to set the table. And remember, I told you that I've invited Ifi to join me on this business lunch. Ifi Emeka Anu, welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much. And it's great to be here to discuss business over a meal. Yes. And I hope that we'll have a business deal after this meal. Oh, sure. Certainly we will. Okay, so Chef Tony told us earlier how to set the table. And he told us what every silverware and every glassware on this table um, is used for. So why don't we just talk about it again? Maybe we should just summarize it. And But before we do that, Ify, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing very well. But then um, let's talk about the dining etiquette rule number one. You do not ignore a set table. Yes. For instance, I'm here already and I have all the silverware is here because usually a lot of us like to say oh i'm nigerian i'm an african and we're used to eating with our fingers and i totally do agree with okay. them like when you want to eat all the um bowl foods amala eba pounded yam and all mm -hmm. of those things yes you know as nigerians 
we eat those kind of meals with our, with our fingers. fingers. Absolutely. But the dining etiquette rule number one says that you do not ignore a set table. Yes. If Tosi had wanted me to use my fingers, then obviously she should have provided either a hot towel or a finger bowl. Yeah. Apparently, Tosi, you want me to use the silverware, right? We're doing a proper English <laughs> meal today. Okay. No Ogbono or Iwedu allowed on set. <laughs> All right then. Okay, so okay, that's fine. So welcome again, Ifi. Thank you. Um, so I thought that we should actually reiterate what Chef Tony told us about these glasswares at this cutlery. Okay, um, let's take it like one plus one, like ABC, okay. so that, um, our viewers can understand exactly what we're trying to say. So usually when you're on the table and you do not know exactly what to do, you start from the outside. Okay. So you're here already, you start from the outside. Now, you get to see something that looks like a round bowl. Mm -hmm. If it's um, a buffet, you have all the um, dinnerwares, you know, near the buffet table. Mm -hmm. But the round bowl shows you that this is going to be for soup. soup. And I'm aware that you can either have a cold or a hot, hot starter. starter. Okay. So I ordered for a hot starter for us. Okay, I hope By the way, I hope it's even proper to order food for your guest. If is that you okay? are sure, if you know that your guest is not allergic to anything, otherwise, if you're not sure, then you do not order meals okay. for your guests. It's better for them to come over and then, you know, they pick the meals they want themselves. Some people have actually also heard for some people, they um, send the, the menu ahead. Exactly. Yes, so mm -hmm. they send the menu ahead and then the guests, uh, you know, sends a response then some people also ask their guests oh please let us know if you're allergic to any of these things you know like nuts like onions and all of these things yes. some people are allergic to some of these but for someone like me i'm you're not good allergic to, go. to and because anything. i am the host i decided that i would do the ordering for us <laughs> And I know if he isn't allergic to pepper soup, exactly. so I'm sure we're going to start with the pea soup today. Okay. All right, so before then, we're talking about where to start. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, I know a very simple rule. Okay. If you remember, be my wife. I'll take it again. Be my wife. That's B-M-W. So you have the bread, the meal, and water. Okay. Bread meal and water now sometimes you could be up to 10 or 12 or even up to 50 Absolutely. on a table mm -hmm. you should always bear in mind that the bread plates that's around it i'm sure i'm um, chef tony talked about this earlier on mm -hmm. the bread plates on the left belongs to me okay. so if i use the bread plates on my right because obviously i'm going to have someone else sitting next mm -hmm. to me if i use the bread plates on my right that means i have used you know the other person's, person's exactly um, bread plates so the bread plates on my left belongs to me to you. of course i have my dinnerware in front of me and then all the glass wares yes all the glass wares now if you do not want to say glassware if you want to say glass Please know that glass, even if you have a million on the table, still it's remain still glass. glass and not glasses. Yes. Good. Ify, I have another idea for that. So for me, I use the B and D. Okay. B would be the bread on my left side and D would be for the drinks on my right side. So like you said, we have a table of more than two. I could get confused. I'm not sure if the bread to the right is mine or not, um, or to the left is mine or not. What you could simply do is B. Mm -hmm. and D. Mm -hmm. So the bread on my left and the wine on my right. Now some of you may be wondering why bread? What's bread doing here? So for, for starters around here would usually do the dinner roll or the bread roll and, and some butter and the soup for the day and like I said for today it's the pea soup. Okay I'm also aware that part of the intercontinental style for you to have bread and soup Mm -hmm. So usually you have bread and soup for your starters, for first your of starter. all, before, that's the appetizer, like, you know, we like to call it in our local mm -hmm. yeah. um, way. Then you have the dinner, the main meal itself, and then you have um, the dessert. Okay. Now, when it comes to the glass, whereas a lot of people are also confused, you know, which is which and all of these things. Like you have this one here, this is called the champagne 
flute, flute. as we can see mm -hmm. yes it's yeah. long it's slim so you definitely you cannot mistake in the this at all yes and then you cool. carry from the stem uh -huh. and, not and not the bowl <laughs> like this some people even carry it this way. this way then you also get to see some ladies they do something yeah. like this it's, no it's yes you stem. take it from i mean i think it's just really classy stem. to do this from the stem mm -hmm. yeah. okay and then next we have the um white wine glass now i'm also aware that white wine is usually served chilled mm -hmm. now the white wine glass and the red wine glass look a little bit you know alike yeah. they look similar that's yes. true but the difference is that if you look at the um, the red wine yes. glass, it looks kind of you know a little bit the bigger, wider, wider than, than, than yeah, the that's white the way wine. To distinguish it. Yes, and then the um, red wine glass is usually served you know at room temperature. temperature. But I've been to a, a couple of places where they serve the red wine you know chilled. No, so um, white wine is served chilled mm -hmm. and red wine is served at room temperature. temperature. That's the difference. Yes. It would also interest you to note that when you're serving, it's Yuletide season, when you're serving white wine in your house, for instance, you're going to be serving um, chicken, yeah. turkey, white, fish, yes. protein. Exactly. So chicken, white turkey, wine fish. goes with white meat. Yes. That's the rule. Mm -hmm. And then red wine goes with the red, red meat. meat. Now, Absolutely. someone once asked me, um, if you, what if you're serving, you know, we have this um, special local delicacy in Lagos, that's um, the cow skin, popularly known as pomo. <laughs> <laughs> what do you use in serving that? <laughs> well, that was just a joke anyway. So please do not forget, if you're serving white wine, you serve white wine with white meat. And if you're serving red wine, you serve red wine with red meat. Yes. Okay, and I think we have one last glass word there too, so someone would like to talk about that. Here we have the water glass. On some tables you find a glass that looks like a wine glass, but it's larger than the ones that we have here. We call it a water goblet. So you could either find a water goblet or a water glass, uh, and that's for water which I believe should be the very first thing that we get on this table. Oh, sure. Uh -huh. Okay, then very quickly, let's talk about the soup spoon. Now, we don't also observe that the soup spoon looks different from yes. the dinner spoon. That's yes. the regular spoon that you yes. use. Like a mini ladle. Uh -huh. At home, <laughs> yes. So that's, you uh -huh. have that there. So I think that's there about that. So don't forget, you have the B, M, W, bread, wine, and water. And so think, can you do your sign again? The B. And the D. <laughs> okay, we're ready for Chef Tony, don't you think so? Um, so maybe we should get water first. Okay. And so that we can wet our throats. Now I'm wondering readiness. why you have your um, palms on the table. Why do we have our palms on the table and not underneath? Underneath. Mm. I think it's because I was using my hands to gesticulate. Okay. Uh -huh. I so. am also aware that you know, you, you also do not want your table partner wondering what your fingers are doing, are doing beneath. So you just put exactly. your clean. So but then fine. not, not the elbow. No, not, not the that elbow. Way. Yes. That's not allowed at the table. And I know growing up, they told us don't eat with food in your mouth. No, but adults. Yeah, we are yes. conducting business over a meal. So adults can speak on the table, but be sure that you don't have anything at all in your mouth. That's because you don't want your other partner, you know, seeing, you know, the picture of the look of how you're grinding the meal in your mouth. You don't want them seeing it. Exactly. And at the same time, you also unintentionally, while talking and you have something in your mouth, you could unintentionally, you know, bring some out and then, you know, it's going to be it's very, just really very messy. messy. And that's it's not just what really messy. So if you remember that you said that the first thing or the first rule at the table is that you should not ignore a set, set table. table yes now what's the very first action when you get to the table okay so you take your napkin mm -hmm. you take it you know you open you don't open you know some people open this way and then they <laughs> flap in this way <laughs> like they're about to put clothes on the line no that's very bad table etiquette yeah. that's a major dining faux pas no mm -hmm. you don't do that now what you do is you place it nicely on your laps. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what you do. 
exactly. place it nicely on your laps and be sure that you sit in a way that you feel very, very comfortable exactly. because your food should come, come to, to your you. mouth and not you going to your food. After the food. Now, so sit as close as possible to the table. The table, yes. All right. So you have it on your lap. Okay. Did you notice what I did? I uh -huh. was trying to get Chef Tony's attention. I didn't say, Ace! <laughs> <laughs> Excuse oh me. My so see, that was so say. that's so hilarious. Please. I, did, I didn't say that. So you could just you know beckon nicely at the attendant because to... he he or she is actually meant to be waiting on you. Exactly. So they're always you know around you. You don't need to scream or yell. Exactly. Okay. Thank so you, have... Chef Tony. We uh, really, really need this water right now. <laughs> yes, I think we do. Okay. Now, some people would rather prefer to open the bottle and drink directly from the bottle. Did you just say we shouldn't ignore a, a set, set table? table? So we yes. have a water glass and we'll use it by all means. <laughs> Thank you. Are we ready for our starter? Yes, I think so we like are. So like I said, hot starter today. Okay, so we're having the pea soup bread. So wait, what happens if my pepper soup comes and it's very hot? Okay, now one way you can know if you can actually eat the pepper soup is feel the temperature, you know, on the outside of the bowl. Okay. Use your palms to feel the temperature on the outside of the bowl. The way it feels, you know if it's something that can go straight into your, into mouth. your mouth. Otherwise, they know that it's not something that you can take. And then, it is not allowed for you to take your soup and you do something like this. <laughs> no, you can do that. Charlie have a person. joke to tell, but hey, let me save that joke for another day. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it is not a camu, so please. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> all... <laughs> all right. Mm, this looks good. The bread looks freshly baked. Exactly. Okay. Thank you, Chef Tony. So it is assumed that we have washed our hands before we come to the Absolutely. table. <laughs> you know, if you served bread like this, don't be tempted to finish everything because you won't even have space for the main dish. And it looks freshly baked. It looks freshly baked. Yes, I know. The really one, nice. um, one rule I learned is that if you're going to eat more than one course, then you eat in bits, in bits in because sometimes when you eat the first course it tastes really very nice you just want to stuff your tummy in mm -hmm. with all of that okay oh. okay so if you're serving yourself it's um good for you to know that just take the much that you know you can finish, finish. And then apart from that, you're not sure of the taste of the meal. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Yuffie. You're welcome. For every so bread have... roll would always be accompanied by butter. Okay, okay. so Yuffie, you're my guest. Please do the honors. Here we go. Thank you. All right. Now sometimes, because the bread looks freshly baked, we may be tempted to eat it like a gigi bread. <laughs> or like you a burger, know, you, know. you know. So some people might just want to slice the bread into two. No, you don't do that. You just cut enough chunk for yes. your mouth. So since we have um, this here, I will just take just the bit the that bit. I want, mm -hmm. put it on my bread plates, and then you can have that. Thank you, Ify. So I have it on my bread plate and I have cut enough bread for my mouth. If the whole bread can go into your mouth at once, please <laughs> indulge. Well, certainly but not. we know that it can go into your bread at the same time. So you, I have cut just a bit for my mouth yeah. and then I butter it and pour into my mouth. Yeah. Hmm. 
okay so we had earlier said that adults can talk but then be sure that you don't have you don't anything have in, your in your mouth so you notice that i'm taking my soup this way mm -hmm. this exactly. way aha uh -huh. and then i have it into my mouth exactly. i'm making sure that i'm sitting down in a way that i feel very very comfortable then i put it into my mouth so remember you mm. scoop away from you this soup really tastes very nice so like we said earlier um scoop away from you and and you know don't don't do this don't do that so if this thing comes with a lot of pepper how do i handle it you feel now if you're not the kind of person who's used to eating something very spicy, spicy. once you've taken the first spoon you know that it's something that you cannot handle my advice stop mm. So what are you going to do? <laughs> Take out. <laughs> <laughs> I paid for this meal. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Uh, and so this is some goat's meat pepper soup. That's what we are having. That's just um, pieces of chevron. That's what goat meat is called. Mm -hmm. Put in a broth. And it's really nice. Really, really nice. Thank you for this. So yes, if you have paid for the meal, then you can actually ask them to pack it for you because you've paid for exactly the meal. So Ify, before we move to our next meal, which is the main meal for the day, let's just summarize everything we said about the starter etiquette. We said number one, your bread should be taken in bite sizes. It's not a sandwich, so please don't cut it right in the middle and eat like a sandwich. Mm -hmm. Just a bite size is fine we said that for your spoon of course this is how you recognize a soup spoon it's like a mini ladle just you know rounded and then it would always be the the, the silverware on, on the outermost um you know on on the table set so use that for your soup and then scoop away from you and then put it in your mouth you know don't, don't do this if if he has told us that if it comes in too spicy and you think you can't handle it, you can't afford to be doing this at the table. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. so please just stop it there and then and ask for the main meal. So I think we're ready for the main dish now, Ify. Sure we are. I think, you know, this is an appetizer and I'm really, really very appetized. So I'm ready <laughs> for the main meal. Yes, I remember that um, Chef Tony, just before it comes with our main meal, I remember he mentioned that there would usually be a cold starter and a hot starter. So do you have any idea what the cold starter is about? Um, I know about um, the corn soup. Oh, okay. Yes, it's usually served cold. Cold, okay. Yes, the corn soup. But apart from that, I know that quite a lot of us as Nigerians, we rather prefer exactly yeah this is fine and and we can't wait for the main dish manners on the go